What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV, and today we're gonna go over a fragrance, do a full review of this fragrance from the House of Davidoff. This is an underrated fragrance that doesn't have a lot of talk, no hype at all, and I don't know why, because it's a very, very good fragrance for the price that I got at my, uh, I think, yeah, my local Marshalls. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So from the House of Davidoff, we got Davidoff the Game. This fragrance ran me $25 and some change. And here is the bottle. The bottle resembles like a stack of poker chips. So the game, you know, the casino game, yeah. You know, you dig it, kind of cheesy, but you know, it is what it is. What I get out of this fragrance is a beautiful initial blast of juniper berries that give you like that, like that fougere pininess and with that gin in the opening. In the top, you get some juniper berries and some gin. Now that gin gives it that white booziness, like a little bit of a like a lime freshness with that gin as well. Mixing very well with that fougere pininess from the juniper berries, giving it also like a dry fruitiness to this fragrance in the opening. This really doesn't have like a strong like alcoholic blast in the opening, at least to me. So that's a plus as well. It opens up beautifully. When you get into the mid, you get some iris and some precious woods. That iris is what makes this fragrance even more beautiful. Has that like that earthy, somewhat of a powdery type of iris. Not that lipsticky type of iris that you get like, you know, in Dior Homme Intense or something like that. But the iris that's inside of here is like a bright floral, like white floral type of a iris. The reason why I say white floral because with that iris and that gin note, Man, it works so well with each other, as well with those juniper berries. It meshes so well with each other, giving it like a white, boozy, violet, smooth, you know, soft, fruity, dry, fruity uh, scent thus far in this fragrance once you come from the top into the mid. I don't really get any of that, you know, precious woods, but I don't get really uh, a woody aspect to it. You know, it's mainly, you know, that iris and that gin as well as the juniper berries so far. So the woods, not too much. Probably a little bit in the dry down I get uh, detected like far in the background, but you know, it's very, very, you know, distant compared to, you know, the notes that I've mentioned so far in this fragrance. So once you get into the base, you get some ebony wood. Now the ebony, ebony wood makes it a woody dark scent. Makes it a little bit more darker. Makes the juniper berries and a little bit of a, uh, that gin and tonic type of a chord that you got out of here. It makes it a little bit darker and a little bit more sweeter as well. So mainly what I get out of this beautiful, beautiful fragrance for the price of $25 and some change. A white boozy, violet, earthy, slightly powdery, as well as a um, violet, if I didn't say violet already, which I think I did, dry fruity type of a scent from this fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful bang for your buck. I bought this before, didn't like it, and I took it back. I had, I sprayed it on myself before I took it back, and on my way home, I regretted it. And when I came back to go get it, it was gone, but I went to another local Marshalls and found it. I hurried up and snatched it up because, man, I missed this fragrance. It was beautiful. On my skin, it's great. I didn't give this fragrance too much wearing to like, you know, get any compliments. So I didn't get any compliments, but I'm pretty sure if I wear it enough, I might, I may will. Or if you were to wear it, you might get some compliments. Have some people come to me, you know, and forum say that uh, they wore this fragrance and they got like unsolicited amount of compliments in their experience. So longevity and projection. This is where it takes a little bit of a hit. It's not good and it's not bad at all. It's more of a, you know, a date night, close encounter. You know, you can make this project a little bit more if you overspray. The performance is not bad. It's like average, but it's kind of dwindling slightly underneath average, but it gets the job done. Just overspray. If it's weak and you feel like the fragrance is weak, just overspray. That's all you gotta do. Projection was good between, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, then it's that close to the scan, but it's, it didn't really become like a close scan to, scent to the point where it's undetectable. It's detectable, it's there. It, the fragrance will linger and project enough to let you know that it's still 
there. But it's not a beast of a scent. All fragrances don't have to be a beast, but if you're looking for a beast, you're not gonna get it in here. Trust me, unless you just drown yourself. Other than that, you know, you go like four, uh, five to six sprays or more, you, you're gonna get like, you know, a slightly under, uh, under average to average type of uh, projection with a total longevity of five to six hours max out of this. For, I think I just sprayed like, you know, maybe six or seven times and got that longevity of like, you know, five to six hours. So there's that. For 25 bucks, it ain't bad as far as like, you know, project and projection and longevity. So this is a win-win for me. I love this scent. Like just the smell alone is beautiful. Seasons for this, I would say spring, uh, spring and fall. Not too strong for the winter time. And I think it, this will be a little bit cloying for the summertime. It has like some type of, it doesn't have like a deep sweetness or any type of like, you know, huge depth into it that, you know, that can be for like colder months. It's something about this that has like, I think it's that ebony wood that makes it a little bit dense and sweet and heavy to the point where if heat gets to this, it'll be cloying. So I would say, you know, fall and spring, you know, moderate temperatures, not high heat situations or anything like that, you know, 60, 70 degrees around there. But yeah, spring and fall. Age group, well, like I always say, if you like it, no matter what age you are, wear it. But if you want my specific opinion, I will say middle age on up. It doesn't have like, you know, that immature, playful, sweet, mass appealing sweetness, that immaturity for the younger crowds to appreciate or the younger ladies to appreciate on a younger gentleman. But if you like it, wear it. Doesn't matter because this, give it a chance. Ignore the negativity. Just try it for yourself. If you don't like it, that's cool. But man, this is a very attractive scent. I love this so much. This is my top 10 cheapie thus far this year. So that's all that I got for Scent Talk TV. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, you know what to do. You got to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there and be blessed. Have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace. Ooh.